In the previous video, I showed you how to set up an AWS IoT core. This time, I will show you how to connect your CIA Connect device to the AWS IoT core. First thing we do is navigate to connectors and ensure that you have the MQTT connector installed. In the upload new file, we will then upload the three files that we downloaded from the AWS IoT core. When we upload a new file, we choose the three different files and we can give them a name. As you can see, we have the three different files uploaded to the MQTT connector and we're ready to set up the instance. We navigate to Instances. We click on Add a new instance. In the connector, we choose the MQTT connector. For the name, I will choose to call it AWS IoT Core. In the address, I will input the endpoint that we found in the previous video. Now here, in the connector setup, we leave the port to 8883 as this is the default port of the AWS IoT Core. The username and password we leave blank. The device ID is automatically generated by a CA Connect device and we will leave this as at the default. The SSL version, in this case we will choose TLS 1.2 as this is the version that AWS IoT Core is using. For the certificate, the key and the server certificate. This is where we choose the three certificates that we uploaded earlier. So we choose the device certificate for the certificate, the private key for the key, and the root CA1 certificate for the server certificate. The final one we leave to yes, as this is an extra step for security that is required by the AWS IoT Core. Now here we save the instance, and if we click it, now we're in the instance. From inside the instance, we're able to create items to publish and subscribe data. First thing we do is we create an item for publishing. Call it publish and we'll keep it on a, give it the topic, publish topic. This item right here will be able to publish to the AWS IoT Core. Here we click on new mapping. Mapping is the movement of data from the master item to the slave item. In this case, I will choose a Siemens S7 PLC and the random number item inside the Siemens S7 PLC. The slave item, I will choose the AWS IoT core and the publish item. What this will do is move the data that is in the Siemens S7 PLC's random number generator into the AWS IoT Core Publish item. As we can see here, the AWS IoT Core's Publish item is now receiving data. This data is the same data that exists in the Siemens S7 PLC's random number item. Now that we have data coming into the AWS IoT Core's Publish item, we can create a standardized payload around the item using the input template. What this will do is create a payload around the value of the item, and it will also be able to use CS scripting variables to create metadata around your, uh, your value. As you can see right here on the left-hand side, I have the device, I have the item, I have the value, and I have the timestamp. On the right-hand side, I have CS scripting variables. This is the instance master name, the item name, the value, and the value dot time. The instance master dot name is the name of the device that is sending the data. In this case, this is the Siemens S7 PLC. The item dot name is the random number generator. The value is of course the value, and the value dot time is a time in which the value is created. Now we save this item. And as you can see right here, not only are we, are we receiving a value, 
but we are also receiving the metadata around that specific value. We can take this one step further and validate this against the AWS IoT course MQTT test client. And as you can see right here, we are getting the payloads with the Siemens S7 PLC, the random number item of the Siemens S7 PLC, various values, and the timestamps of which the values are created. In the next video, I will go more in depth in how to use the MQTT test client to validate your data exchange.